But on the sanctimonious, as you know, I got him elected, but now he's a failed candidate. He failed. He failed before. You know, he came in, I gave him an endorsement. And we lifted him into victory. He was way, way behind. It was, it was over. The race was over. I endorsed him, and he went like a rocket ship, and he won very shortly thereafter. And then uh, I got him past the election, so I got him the nomination. Then I got him the election. He ran against a guy at the time who was uh, — turned out to be a crackhead, but nobody knew that at the time. Years, 12 years, it was a tremendous success. At the time, he was uh, the hottest, one of the hottest guys. He was probably the hottest man in the Democrat Party, and Stacey Abrams was the hottest woman in the Democrat Party. He was going to be, they said, the governor of Florida. He couldn't stop him. Ron DeSanctimonious said, oh, I don't think we can beat him. I don't think we can beat him. Because he was. I mean, if you remember back, and uh, I said, you beat him. And we did two or three giant rallies. We had unbelievable rallies, Trump rallies, for him. And then uh, he wins. And then four years later, somebody shouted out, will you run against the president? And he said, I have no comment. He said, he said he had no comment. That guy's going to run against me. And I started hitting him. And they all said, sir, he's a Republican. You shouldn't hit him so hard. I said, like hell, I shouldn't. And he went down like, like an injured bird out of the sky. And I said, well, one thing I know when I do this, actually, 14 different shows. They actually, it was so good, they put it on. Anytime Florida had problems, I was always there. But then he says uh, a statement that essentially said he was going to run. And so we hit him hard. And he's really, uh, in fact, in South Carolina, he's right now in fourth place. He's in fourth place. And I'm leading the second place by 35 points. They put it on twice. And they said uh, they wanted to renew my contract. Like President Ronald Reagan before me, I support the three exceptions for rape, incest, and the life of the mother. And they lost a lot of elections, and we can't let that happen. This, and I said to politicians, they just don't know how to talk about this issue. It's a complex issue, but they don't know how to talk about it. And if they don't speak about it correctly, they're not going to win. They're not going to win.